Tonight, we can reveal the joke. Good afternoon. The Chancellor is to push forward with plans to ensure future governments can spend no more than the discount chain Poundland to collect in revenue. The plan would slash the amount of money being paid to doctors and nurses in order to run down the NHS. In a brutal government crackdown today, David Cameron announced those from working class backgrounds should be treated like the criminals they are and they will be. At the same time, the Chancellor will promise a new sports car to people that pass the poshness test. Now, is this the end of the line for the entire Eurozone? The Greek Prime Minister's creditors think so. They've been fined a record 117 million billion euros because Greece has payment protection insurance. It seems we are about to see the end of one of the most romantic traditions on Earth. David Cameron's going to stop stripping naked on top of a sacred mountain after Prime Minister's questions. Tonight, we report yet another horrific incident in which Krishnan kissed the singer Jerry Halliwell. Krishnan. Some guys have all the luck. It's a rather unlikely message from a symbol of America's shameful past. But US government officials say that the Confederate flag identifies as black. And in the last few minutes, a police officer in South Carolina was filmed shooting dead an unarmed black flag. Now, the musician Taylor Swift has forced the government into a massive U-turn over its plans to cut billions from the welfare budget. Taylor Swift threatened to trap the Prime Minister at Alton Towers on one of its roller coasters. Our main headline tonight, Ian Duncan Smith has just released his first solo album. Written under his real name, Furious Vengeance Smith, it charts the loan sharks and food banks which are replacing the disability living allowance. Now tonight's other big news in Britain, Channel 4 News can reveal that Lenny Henry likes chocolate biscuits and crisps. That's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening. <laughs>